welcome back to the channel today we are looking at the lingmo os so here you can see the lingmo os 3.0 which is uh, rc so this is still in the beta stage and also it's in the rc version so here you can see the code name is helium so before talking about whether to use this distribution or not i'm going to discuss everything at the end let's first check all the features and everything so about the section so here you get the Lingmo OS and uh, it's, it's based on Debian 12.9 which is the latest version of Debian and it's a stable version and the country of origin it's from the China so it's kind of looks like a cute fish OS if you didn't watch uh, the cute fish OS video I already made a lot of videos on cute fish OS and also it kind of looks like a Jing OS which was uh, disconnected I discontinued I guess so this is how the about section looks and uh, let's check other things so it's kind of laggy and i'm using it on the virtual machine i'm i'm going to say why i'm using uh, it in the virtual machine at the end so i'm going to discuss every important things at the end let me show you first the features and everything so the code name i already mentioned it's a helium and also it's a beta stage so let's close everything and it's going to take some time here let's uh, click on s and also close it so this is how the desktop looks so you get some uh, good wallpaper so you get some fancy things here and uh, here is our date and time notifications everything power options the battery i'm running it on my laptop so this is how it looks kind of like a ios or the iphone like a thing and what else we have the application menu let's check the application menu so here you get a few applications like a vlc media player and uh, lingmo text editor the Firefox web browser, you are, you should be getting a Firefox web browser in, in every Linux distro. So you get like an Inkscape and Krita, which is for content creation. For Office Suite, you get the only Office. Now let's check the system monitor. So you get two system monitor. I don't know why. Let's open the system monitor. And this is how the system monitor looks. And the kernel version, it's using the 6.11.11. .11. And you can get all the kernel information from the kernel.org website and here is my cpu the desktop environment it says like a lingmo and about the process these are all the process running right now 